Spurs. We are standing here in front of the Goose Hollow Inn, which has been a heart and staple here in Portland for many years. And the reason why we're here will make all good sense here in a moment. But today is a very special day honoring a very iconic Portland person, James Elwood Clark. You guys might know him better as Bud Clark. That's right, today's gonna be remembering Bud Clark, a former mayor and definite icon of Portland. This right here, to this day, is still his family restaurant, the Goose Hollow Inn. And Bud Clark opened this restaurant, you know, not only to be an entrepreneur, but, you know, to better the neighborhood, the Goose Hollow neighborhood. So to this day, his folks, not his folks, but he still owns this and his uh, children and siblings are running it. So pretty darn cool to see it still here. And uh, not to mention this old relic of a payphone here, just kind of chilling. But we got the Goose Hollow in here, like I said, that's been a big staple here in Portland for many years. And Bud Clark, his family to this day still owns it. So pretty darn cool to think that, you know, such an iconic Portlander still has a ton of stuff around town. So today we're gonna honor, honor Mr. Bud Clark by going around Portland and showing you some relics and some things that are still around honoring him. Now, unfortunately he passed away February 1st of this year, um, but he will definitely not be forgotten. He has so much incredible love for Portland his whole life, was the mayor here, didn't have a lot of political background when he started. And I think that's why, you know, the Portlanders really wanted, um, someone in there like that to really care about the city. So we're gonna dedicate today's vlog all to you, Bud Clark. That's right, whoop, whoop. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Hey, that's totally, oh, on oh thank you so much. Yeah. Wow, I just got permission. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cool. Thank you so much. This, this means a lot to me and this will mean a lot to other fellow Portlanders. Yeah, so John, John Elwood Clark, born John Elwood Clark, he died February 1st of this year, really unfortunate. Um, but this is his family bar here, the Goose Hollow Inn, since 1967. And Bud wanted to, you know, not only be a restaurant entrepreneur, but he really wanted to help save this part of the city. So he opened this bar way before, oh, here he is right here, check it out. Enjoying a drink right here. <laughs> that is so cool, gosh, look at that. First thing you see when you walk in is Bud himself right here. Uh, but he wanted to, you know, keep this area, um, you know, established. And, and so he opened this restaurant, but in fact, before he opened this place, he actually had a bar called, I think it's called what, uh, how do you pronounce it, Steinhaus? Uh, Spottenhaus. Spottenhaus, okay. Wow, look at this, you guys. They've got all kinds of memorabilia, mementos. Expose yourself to the town. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to go down there to, uh, um, the art piece that he's basically most, even before he got into politics, he, uh, oh, here's the, here's the picture right here. That's so funny, here I am talking about it. Oh, wow, that one's signed. He even signed that one. Uh, but there was a famous art piece, even to this day, it's very iconic Portland, you know, kind of keep Portland weird. Uh, but Mayor Clark posed uh, in front of a statue that went national. It became a, a very famous art piece and the statue is still down there today, so we're gonna go down there next and check it out, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, the family restaurant, and I really appreciate them a lot letting me do this because I know, you know, with him just passing and stuff, uh, you know, it's gotta be, you know, the grieving process and everything still, so I really appreciate you guys letting me come in here and, you know, and just document this for the mementos. Yeah, you might know, but there's some nice pictures on the wall in the back of Bud in his, uh his wife and stuff. Oh, there. very so nice. Make sure you get those. Okay, I'm gonna go in the back then here. So yeah, the owners, they're not even open yet. A brand new picture they on the back so wall kind. that uh, was just taken like very recently, that big frame one there. Oh, oh, is that the Key Portland? Oh, that's the weird Portland United one that he did. Yeah, it's got a bunch oh, of strange people on yes, it. Yes, it's the weird Portland United. Oh my gosh, thank you for pointing that out. And here he is, like I said, enjoying his, his drink there. Oh my gosh, they've just got so much mem memories all over the wall. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is uh, very emotional for me because being raised in Portland, living here my whole life, um, I remember being like five or six years old and hearing Bud Clark 
um, do his, you know, famous whoop whoop. And I asked my dad's friend at the time, who was an artist, what was that? And she told me, you know, that's kind of was his iconic little moniker that he would do just to kind of, you know, boost people's spirits and stuff. He would always let out a little whoop whoop. Wow, look at that. He's on the cover of This Week magazine there, him and his wife. This is, this is incredible. I honestly didn't think that, I mean, I knew there would be memorabilia, but I honestly didn't think that there would be this much nostalgia back here. This is, this is just downright incredible. So here's the, uh, oh yeah, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, and it's signed by everybody too. We got the Unipiper on there. Oh my God. Oh, Elvis, nice man. Oh, and they're all signed in that nice gold pin. Look at that, you guys. Be the weird you want to see in the world. I love that so much and I have to honor him. There's Bud right there. And uh, you know, it's just kinda unfortunate, but his memory will definitely live on in Portland for a long time. He was a great man. Yeah, this is so cool. I'm so glad he pointed this out to me. And uh, there's Bud right there enjoying his drink gosh that is so cool and uh yeah just unfortunate that he passed but you know i have to say he uh he touched a lot of folks and i think you know him doing that original keep that original uh art piece that he did in front of the statue you know i kind of really i've always thought that was really big on the whole keep portland weird he was kind of the one of the, you know, the paving paths for that. Oh, wow, here he is in a canoe. That is so cool. Yeah, this is, uh, it, it's very, like I said, this is very emotional. Growing up in Portland, um, been blessed to, never met Bud, but obviously know of him and everything that he did for the city. And all the people that he knew and touched, you know, will never be forgotten. As you can see, they've got a ton of his memories and folks that have established, you know, that have patroned his bar over the years and family photos of friends and just incredible. Yeah, I, like I said, I knew that, uh, I knew you guys would have some sort of memorabilia and stuff, but I honestly yeah, didn't think. All these fresh flowers. Just oh my gosh! So I didn't even notice this when I walked in. Here and there, and then oh my here, gosh! So how nice. Uh, you know, people sent these. They oh, they like smell that. so good too. Yeah. Yeah, he always kind of. Well, not. I. I don't think it was always, but he was known to wear the little bud in his. Uh, in his lapel, right? Yeah, he wore a rose in his lapel. Yeah. It's nice that people sent us flowers. That was very fun. Oh, very nice. What beautiful people. Our friends at Goose Hollow, sorry for your loss to our family from yours. Oh, BMW of Portland. Wow. How nice. Yeah, this city is just beautiful. We're, I feel so blessed to have grown up and, and been involved and, and know such great folks. And I think when he did, you know, when he did come in here, he, he sat right at the rack, didn't he? Basically sat yeah. right here. <laughs> Uh, you know, usually I, I would see him probably at least at least once or twice a week. Really? That's so cool. Man. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I don't want to keep you because I know you're trying to get, you know, the place up and going still. And But just a great, uh, great memories to be had. And, uh, yeah. you know, uh, Portland uh, will really cherish. Here's some more flowers and roses that folks left for him. It just smells so good. It is, you know, and that's the thing is, though, is I'm a true believer of I've lost. It's unfortunate. I've lost some friends, a uh, lot more friends recently than I ever had in my life. And so I've kind of been in that same mindset. But uh, oh, look at this. All the little over the years, people kind of scratch in the table, too. But yeah, that I, I'm a big believer of see it down the road. And, uh, you know, they're they're gone here physically, but their spirit is never. <laughs> Expose yourself to our Reuben sandwich. That is so good. What was his favorite sandwich or uh, meal? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. 
Wow, look at this. Yeah, I'm just a janitor. So. It's all good, bud. Like I said, I really appreciate you letting me come in. Yeah. Look at this, guys. The police commissioner from 85 to 92. I didn't know that. For his leadership and support and induction of the community policing in Portland. That is so cool. Yeah, he loved this area. And like I said, when he first established this bar, you know, he wanted to just really keep the good upbeat and, um, you know, keep Goose Hollow neighborhood, um, you know, alive and well. So opening this place and bringing his, his goodness and then a lot of the folks, you know, knew of him through Portland. And so when he ran for mayor and won, a lot of folks were like, wow, he actually won. But you know what? It was good because folks were ready for something new then. And they really thought he would be, and he was, you know, just such a great candidate for a job like that. And, uh, you know, really the people's, the people's person, which, uh, yeah, this is just so cool, man. Very cool. The people's person, and that's what made, you know, him stand out and win, really. It's that they realized that they could finally find, you know, a candidate that his, you know, political backgrounds and stuff like that. It was for the people. It wasn't just for, you know, like a political gain or anything like that. He genuinely cared about the city. And that's, that's really hard to find these days. I honestly do think that people's intentions are good, but when it's really in your heart and in your mind and just love Oregon and Portland, um, I believe his family moved from La Grande at an early age and um, he did attend Lincoln High School, so that will be our next stop. And then right before we get there, I wanna show you guys a little really cool surprise that to this day is etched in the sidewalk just about a half block from here. So, hey buddy, thanks again so much. Um, this was very, very nice of you to let me come in here and document all this. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And I, like I said, I, I know the family's grieving, so I didn't want to, you know, outstep my boundaries or anything, but. Yeah, no, they're taking, obviously, they're taking a few days off. Oh, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Well, they will be, he will definitely be missed and honest, honored and cherished, you know, for years to come. So, like I was just yeah. telling the gentleman here that was kind enough to let me in, you know, folks pass, but when you remember them and all the greatness that they did, they're never truly gone. And that's just how I feel. So yeah, I love you guys. We're going to move on because there's a couple more things I want to show you honoring Mr. Bud Clark. So stay tuned. All right. Oh, we're in luck. So check this out. I want to show you guys this first. They recently redid this whole sidewalk where we just left from the Goose Hollow Inn. And as you can see, most of these little sections have been replaced, but this section still has bud on it that's right this was done by a local portland artist um, to help improve the goose hollow neighborhood with an arts project that was funded yeah this is uh it even says the years that he was mayor there 84 through 97 and uh, it's kind of harder to read but it does say bud clark and that's him right there and he was uh, very adamant about improving this neighborhood. Like I said, his family owning that restaurant for so many years. Um, I just really wish I could read what this said. I'll see if I can pull up another picture online and see if we can actually read what this says. But there he has it, Bud Clark himself, etched in the concrete. And uh, the same artist that did this did the Bart Simpson, which I'm not sure if it's there still. I think they cut it out when they reconstructed Lincoln High School. But that will be our next stop along the way, and I'll tell you more why when we get there. All right, this is all the brand new Lincoln High School. All through here, you can see they're doing this construction all the way up the Goose Hollow neighborhood. Uh, but this is the high school that Bud graduated from. So I figured, heck it, we're right here. I'm gonna pull up to the front here and just document a little bit as we can. As you can see, they're hard at work constructing the new school. So I'm not sure how long the old facade will actually be around still. So since we're in the neighborhood, I just wanted to kind of go up here and just kind of document the front facade. Oh, these guys are up here. And, uh, 
yep, this is all the brand new Lincoln High School. And just a ton of famous folks graduated Lincoln High School. Matt Groening, Mel Blank. Um, those are just a couple people offhand, but yep, this was Bud Clark's school on this property here. And then this will be the new school behind us here. Um, do you guys, oh, for sure. Do you guys know about when this will open? Uh, I think this year. Oh, nice. After summer. Nice, They're yeah. We're doing the uh, Bud Clark vlog. He just passed away, the former mayor. Yeah. He uh, okay. he went to high school here in Lincoln. Right on. And then his folks own the, uh, of course his folks. He owns the uh, Goose Hollow Inn. Cool. His daughter owns, uh, runs it now. Right and then uh, he went to high school at the old Lincoln. So we're just kind of piecing everything together. Look at all this old concrete though, that they dug up. Wow. So yeah, the kids are gonna be blessed with the brand new high school. Looking pretty darn nice here. And uh, just for good measure, we got this on the vlog about, oh, six months ago or so. But uh, here's the old Lincoln High School where Bud Clark would have walked into school. And we're just literally so close. I wanted to come up here and show you this as well. So here is the old Lincoln High School where Bud graduated from. And then there's the new one. And just literally on the opposite side of this is where we just were, which is considered the Goose Hollow neighborhood. Just basically right on the opposite side of this uh, fence here. So there you have it. There's the new Lincoln. And there's where Bud would have went to school and graduated from. Pretty darn cool. All right, let's head down to one of the most iconic art pieces slash memories that folks have of Bud. And it's just right down in the bus barn. And then I actually found one more thing I wanna show you guys as well um, that the city honored him with. So, oh, thank you. So we're gonna head down there now. But I wanted to just kinda show you Lincoln High School because I'm pretty sure all this is gonna be demolished with the new, you know, with the new school going in too. Yeah, that's a big school. Right up there. Doing the windows. It's a pretty brave job. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna tear down the entire backside of the old facade of the building. And I'm hoping that they kept kept some of the relics that were inside there. Um, there's the uh, old Elliott Smith placard that's in there that I'm hoping they're gonna keep. And then like I was talking with the construction guys and I'm hoping that they salvage Bart. Uh, but I do remember walking by and seeing the like, you know, kind of spray paint etchings on the sidewalk where it looked like it's pretty much going to be, you know, taken out of there. So we'll see. I, I emailed the construction company and asked them. So stay tuned. But we're off to our next uh, one of the most iconic um, memories that folks have of Bud Clark. And this picture and this art piece was taken way before... He ran for politics, which makes it really interesting, the whole kind of keep Portland weird thing too. So we're gonna go down here and keep honoring Mr. Bud Clark. We made it. Here it is. This is the iconic Bud Clark statue that he, you know, expose yourself to art. <laughs> this would have been it. Right about here is the iconic spot. Well, I think it was back a little. Right about here in the photo, Bud had been standing right here and he had a big trench coat on and some boots and a hat. And he opened his trench coat up and exposed himself to Portland art. That's right. And uh, like I said, this has been an iconic piece of art here in Portland for many years, but pretty much Bud made it very famous. And I'm not gonna pronounce the uh, actual art piece name, but I know I looked it up. It actually just stands for Naked Woman by Norman Taylor, 19. 73 and this is it right about here would have been where bud he would have been standing right here and uh yeah it went national pretty cool to see that it's still here all these years later let's see if we can recreate the photo real quick <laughs> nice nailed it wanted to show the max real quick too 
Bud was huge on improving the city. And in fact, Bud's, one of Bud's ideas was to have the Max go to the east side. So it was already kind of doing its thing. And Bud proposed, was always had good ideas for the city, but he proposed the light rail to Gresham. All right, we are on Southwest First in Pine, and we are making our way right underneath the Burnside Bridge. The city actually installed two placards honoring Bud, and we are going to go check one out. I'm hoping it's still here. Um, if not, we're going to have to go up to, there's one inside the old Montgomery Ward building as well, up on the second floor. So we're going to see if this placard's here. If it is, that's awesome. If not, we'll have to trek back up into Northwest, but uh, either way, this has been a really cool adventure and, uh, you know, much respects to the Clark family and rest in peace to Bud as well. But I wanted to document these things just because, you know, being from Portland, having the, just the good Portland icons, you know, pass, it hits you hard. So I wanted to do my best in honoring bud so this is the burnside bridge here in fact that's the old portland oregon sign up there that we featured a couple times but right underneath the bridge here should be up oh, here it is we've got the actual placard here for bud with his iconic mustache there as well nice little rendition of bud the people of portland are its greatest treasure Portland's greatest is in the livability of its neighborhoods. It is the people who make sure that Portland is clean, safe, and prosperous. Our city is a jewel on the banks of the Willamette River and the cultural and tradition hub, the Columbia Bison. It says, if people hold fast to these priorities, families, businesses, and community, is, and if we are steadfast in the in the preserving of the quality of our environment then portland will remain one of the best places on earth to live to prosper and to raise a generation to carry on our traditions and then it goes on to say j.e bud clark citizen mayor 18 or i'm sorry 1985 through 1992 there you have it still here and uh, yeah, what a great, what a great man. So definitely a great man, will be missed. And uh, I'm glad that the city, you know, honored him with these plaques before he passed. A huge part of Portland, an icon, another icon gone, but not forgotten, Mr. Bud Clark. Rest in peace. I love you guys for always creeping with. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button that will dial you into being a creeper. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. Rest in peace, bud. Thanks again to the Clark family. That was really nice of you to have me at the Hollow Inn, the Goose Hollow Inn. And uh, I love you guys. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. You can hit that big thumbs up. Rest in peace, bud. An icon of Portland gone, but not forgotten. future of taverns and beer drinking in Portland and Oregon. And I